Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I am going to show you how to uh, read app settings dot session in dot .NET Core class library. So this is the simple demonstrations I will give you and uh, in this video tutorial I am giving you two method for accessing app settings dot session file uh, using class library project using uh, uh, dependency injection uh, singleton and uh, and also the second method is used to i options so let's watch so create a new uh, mvc application first of all and uh, in this uh, application just open app settings session file and create a new uh, you can say that uh, uh, array types uh, string and uh, also add a new class library project so first of all first project is actually access uh your app settings session file using your dependency injection so here you can see that uh reading app settings session in dotnet core class library using dependency injection so uh first of all create a class library project and mvc application into your application and the next uh, task is to do create a some string in uh, app setting session file like connection string app settings email id and uh, account key okay so the next task uh, after creating your uh, some string in your or array in app settings session file just add a new interface the name of your interface you can choose yourself so add this interface in your class library project okay so you can use uh, in the class library project a uh, microsoft dot extension dot configuration nuget package so uh, to read a key value based configuration you need to install so microsoft extension dot configuration nuget package as the package has dependency or microsoft extension dot configuration abstractions so install uh, you can uh, and nuget packages by using uh, command line tools or you can just uh, show snippets by the microsoft as usual okay so here we have in app settings uh, interface you can see here we have um, two uh, string values that is email id and account key and that value is matched with your app app settings because you want to access both uh, email id and uh, account key from your app settings session file so in the interface that is app settings i app settings just add two string okay now after that you have to uh, implement that interface by using the class so you can access uh, first of all change the access specifier that is public from uh, internal also implement that class from i app settings and that is here we have two properties that is email id and account key and you can use i configuration as usual you know um, i configuration is actually existing in microsoft extension dot configuration uh, package so uh, here we have i configuration underscore configuration okay you can see that so also uh, as a constructor dependency you can add configuration i configuration and after that uh, just return your email id by using underscore configuration of square bracket in which you can add uh, first of all the root value of your email id that is app settings and by using colon you can access email id as well as the account uh, key so first of all just i want to return email id so here you can say that email id okay so uh, by using underscore configuration app settings colon email id you you want to access it and just return that a uh, thing by using the email id that is public property so the similar you can just return account key okay so after that as a dependency injection you can just inject uh, that uh, interface into your program.cs file so just you can add as a dependency injection so that interface will be injected in program.cs file into your web application 
so program uh, builder dot service dot add singleton uh, and in which you can add i app settings that is your interface name and uh, the implemented class also use so i app settings and implemented class is app settings repo so so you can use this uh, dependency injection and inject it into your controller class as a uh, as a constructor dependency injection so just open controller class and inject that i app settings as a as a uh, constructor dependency injection so first of all define that interface in the top of uh, of your class like i app settings and the name is app settings repo or you can say app app config okay so underscore app config and resolve this issue of your namespace and also inject it uh, and assign it into your constructor so add parameters in the constructor so i app settings uh, app config and in the index method you just return your email id by using access app config dot email id okay and similarly you can just return your account key so this is the one method you can implement you can uh, uh, you can define interface and inject that interface as a dependency injection into your program.cs file and after that you can use that interface as a dependency injection into your home controller class so this is the single method you can access your uh, app settings dot session file into your class library project and in the class library by using the class library project you have to access all these properties okay so this is the single method to access email id and account key from your app settings dot session file uh, from your uh, class library project and the second method you can do uh, directly by using i options so inject uh, just just you want to access uh, just uh, you can say that in just if you want to access uh, both properties email id and account key into your class library project so first of all create a new class uh, in your class library project that is my class the name of the class is my class and add the similar property name and the type uh, that is similar like integer uh, like string so a string is the uh, key value so you can uh, add a class first of all my class and add it um, to property that is email id and account key email id is the string type and the account key is also the string type so you can add both properties as a type of a string in the my class and after that you can use i options but before you have to inject that uh, and configure that service in your program.cs file by using the builder.service.configure method and in the configure method you just pass that class and after that you just get the access section of your app settings so string email id and account key and in your uh, program.cs file you have to access so uh, first of all configure your service so builder dot service dot configure and the configure method you can use and in the configure section you have to just pass my class okay and in that method just you can use configure dot get section like builder dot configuration dot get section and the section is app settings so uh, go for the app settings dot json file and that that section is app settings so pass it here in the parenthesis in double quotes okay so everything is fine so uh, how to access that uh, properties uh, of your my class in your controller so that is very easy you can use i options as a dependency injection so in which i options you just pass my class as a template 
So by using uh, the template, you have to just access the, the value of your template. That is the property is value. And by using the value, you have to just pass. You have to just access the email ID as well as the account key. So just resolve that issue by using Microsoft dot extensions dot options. Also initialize that uh, dependency in your uh, constructor. So first of all, select this and add as a parameter in your constructor of your controller class. So uh, guys, welcome in my channel first of all. And uh, if you like this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Also, uh, don't forget, please, uh, please press the bell icon if you want to get uh, latest notifications and uh, latest project of uh, in ASP.NET Core and uh, .NET Technologies. So by using your options.value.email ID, you just get the email ID as well as your account key. Thank you guys for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, if you want to act, uh, if you want to ask anything about ASP.NET Core, just ask me by using the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.